welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. Today, I have a Whole Foods haul for you guys. I'm super excited to share it with you guys. We are actually gonna have a couple of friends come over and we are going to try to really wow them. Why I say that is, is they are not vegan themselves, but we are going to make what I hope <laughs> is an incredible spread of vegan friendly foods, but we'll take on the traditional Japanese style fried rice that, that you get at restaurants where they cook it all in front of you. You know the whole thing, right? It's not the easiest place to go to when you're a vegan. It's not, it's hard to veganize some of that stuff, but I think we got this and I got everything I need with what I'm thinking is going to make this come together. And I'm gonna make the sauce and everything, you know, like the hot and spicy sauce, I'm doing it veganizing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> but I'm going to share everything with you guys, but I'll still treat this, of course, like a, you know, grocery haul like I would week to week. I'll put the prices with everything for you guys. I'm really excited. I got everything. I got the chicken. I got the beef. I got the egg for the fried rice. We got the vegetables. I'm even going to make a whole cheese board, crackers, fruit, nut spread with wine. I mean, we're going all in vegan. We can do this. <laughs> I'm going to actually even try to share all the footage of all of it coming together at the end of this video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope this comes out. I think it's going to though. And do you see that cake? Do you see that cake? That's vegan. Now I didn't make it, but it's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I will explain as we go into these items. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Thank you so, so much always for watching, my friends. And if you could, please give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And let's just get into it. I'm excited to share it with you guys. All right, getting into this haul, I definitely wanted to share with you guys first that the Miyoko's Creamery brand right now is all on sale, all of it. And there was a lot more items than what I even got. And I, you know, I tried to hold back a little bit, <laughs> but uh, I'm really excited to try these as I have not tried them before. This is the Pepper Jack Shreds. Please leave your feedback in the comments if you have tried it, but I've really, really hopeful that these will be good because most of the time Miyoko's has not disappointed. So I'm excited to try that. I also got their cheddar shreds as well. I just want to point out again, I know I said they were on sale and they, they really are right now, but this is incredible. And I have really been like talking about this one a lot lately. I think this is the best one for making like anything in the oven, anything you're going to bake. I use this for lasagna. I'll link that recipe below. I use this to make homemade pizza. It was incredible and it browns up so nicely in the oven. It really does. But with that said, I am planning to incorporate this onto like the cheese board. And I have had this now a few times just kind of grabbing a chunk of it and I really like it just like this as well. I know that these can typically get like upwards to like ten dollars or more so this was a great deal right now so stock up my friends if you have a Whole Foods near you and you want any of like the Miyoko's brand now is the time. With that said this is a new item I have not tried this at all but I believe it is fairly new and there is lots of different ones now they have just the like regular butter too but this is the garlic parm one I mean come on now I'm thinking the same thing too toast <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm going to see. I have no idea. We typically stick to the earth balance butter. That's one of our favorites. So we will see. Now again, to go with the whole cheese board spread, we've got the Just Like Parmesan from Violife. This is incredible. And I truly feel as much as I love this one, and I think it's really good on its own. I do. I think a non-vegan will still know something's different about it, right? I am telling you right now, <laughs> in comparison, this Parmesan, not a chance. Like, it's so real, in my opinion. It is the best, like, fake out there is. It's unreal. So I will definitely be slicing this up and putting it out there, and we'll see. We will see if they even notice. <laughs> I don't know, but this is wonderful. But even if you're not eating it raw, this is great to put, again, into uh, lasagnas or even just, like, great on top of different pasta dishes. It's awesome. I highly recommend the Violife brand. I also have one cheese in the fridge right now. They're aged cheddar to use. I just already had it, but that was from Whole Foods as well. 
So I'm going to make that hot and spicy sauce. I'm going to do my best. Uh, I'll show it to you guys in a minute there over like some of the items I already have, but I'm going to take some vegan mayo and then this sriracha chili sauce, and we're going to do our best to make a true hot and spicy sauce like you do at those restaurants. And it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it would be vegan otherwise, right? Like I think it pretty much is a mayo base and I'm just going to assume that the restaurant doesn't use a vegan mayo. But if you substituted that, I think you're in the clear. I mean, I think that's all there is that you really need to look out for. So we got this. We can do this. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. But I got that to incorporate it. I also got the teriyaki sauce here, just the 365 brand. And you, you can mix the two. You can do it separate. Doesn't matter. I always used to do where you had the hot and spicy sauce and you put a little teriyaki in it incredible. So good. <laughs> I also got just a couple bags here of the organic mixed vegetables to go with the rice. It, it's such a basic blend, but it, it's, it works because it works. It's right. <laughs> it's the best with fried rice. It's so good. I got some mushrooms here. Typically, again, where we have the restaurants that make this kind of food, they usually do a like trio of the mushroom zucchini and onion i do already have some onions so i didn't need to stock up on that but we're gonna do it i mean they can have the extra mushrooms you know your girl don't do no mushrooms but it can touch my food but they can, i can't consume it <laughs> I'm that girl. <laughs> anyway, but got some mushrooms, got the zucchini as well, just to cut that up into spears. And then for the egg in the rice, I think this is going to work perfectly. The folded plant eggs from Just Egg. This is such a favorite of ours. It is incredible. Now, I do think that if you wanted to or couldn't find these, but you could find the Just Egg in the like the bottle where it comes out like a liquid and then you scramble that up. I think that would be great too, but I have to say this is already basically all done for you and they've nailed it. It's got the best texture. It tastes like egg from what I remember. It is so good. And so I'm just thinking we'll heat it through a little bit. I mean, really you can even just throw it in with the rice and it'll cook up that way too. Um, and then just kind of like chop it up, you know, and it'll be like chunks of the scrambled egg. I'm, I'm doing it, guys. It's going to work. <laughs> now, I'm also going to incorporate tofu, but I wanted to have some, uh, you know, kind of the mock meats too, just in case, you know, just to show the variety that you can do. But I'm good with tofu. I'm happy with it. But again, for them in mind too, I have the Sweet Earth Mindful Chicken. This uh, chicken strips here, I kind of want to show you, like, pull it out a little bit. So this chicken here, I have shared with you guys before, and my only, if you want want to call it a complaint, although I don't think it is, I think it's going to work out perfectly, is even just looking at it, it's extremely plain. It's to, Truthfully, it's not the best on its own. It's really not. But I also love the fact that this is an option because it's so ready to absorb whatever it is you want to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's going to be perfect for this. We can season it up with the different sauces and spices and all that and kind of go from there. And you know, amend to everyone's taste. That's what I love about it. But on its own, I will just tell you, it's not the best. It needs something, but it's great. It is awesome. And the texture is really good too. Once cooked up, don't eat it raw. I tried that too. It's no good. <laughs> but uh, with that too, I did go ahead and get this sweet earth traditional seitan in the strip form. This is going to kind of take on the idea of the beef, if you will. I absolutely love seitan. And so I will totally get into this myself but uh again my idea is to do the seitan the chicken bites and then probably some tofu as well but i think this is going to work out great and i stuck with traditional although this does come in different flavors uh just again so we can kind of control the spices and the flavors we want it to have so that's going to be the majority of it for the actual like on the grill the true dinner and then again, I have the rice already cooked up and I'll talk to you guys about that in just a minute. But to kind of move over to the like snack board I want to make first, just so we have something to munch on, you know, <laughs> I'll share it with you guys. The cracked pepper water crackers are delicious. I love these. And then I got the original as well. One thing that's kind of uh, frustrating, I must say, is there are tons of even Whole Foods had them too, but I double checked it the variety packs of crackers 
majority of them tend to be vegan. And then there's one variety <laughs> within that combo pack that's not. It's so frustrating, right? So that's why I bought these uh, separately as I did just for that reason alone. Just keep an eye out for that just because one type of cracker is, you know, vegan friendly. Sometimes for those variety packs, they don't care. <laughs> I guess they don't care if all of them are. So you got to kind of check them individually. But I will tell you, these are wonderful. They're very simple, but they're very good. They really are. So I got these. And then I got this Kahuna Crunch, this trail mix. I thought that would be really, really good too. And again, I actually have quite a few nuts now of like almonds and walnuts and even I think some pecans. But I wanted to just get this variety variety here. It is dry roasted cashews, almonds, sweet cranberries, pineapple. You know your girl loves a sweetened pineapple. <laughs> and uh, macadamia nuts. I thought that would be really good too. And then we got to wow them with the dessert. Yes, I could have tried to make something myself. I do have some dessert recipes that are phenomenal, but this is a looker. This is not going to be expected to actually be vegan. And it is. Look how pretty it is. And I have to tell you, I don't know that I've technically had this identical one before. However, I remember going to an event, believe it or not, at Whole Foods. I know it's kind of crazy. A couple years ago, there was an event being held there. And they, you know, of course, did all of the food there. And you could have any and everything. And they really focused on desserts, as one does. <laughs> And they had a bunch of donuts, they had cakes, they had all kinds of things. And I was able to try a lot of them and a majority of their stuff that they had for that event specifically, I just totally lucked out, was vegan. How crazy, right? And I gotta just say too, their vegan donuts are incredible. They're one of the best, they're so good. But so my point though is I think this is going to be really, really good. Like you're not even going to really taste it <laughs> that there's anything different about it. I wanted to just show you outside of the box though, uh, cause again, you may not believe me, <laughs> but it does say vegan chocolate mousse cake six inch one. I don't know that it's, you know, the best price or anything, but sometimes it's all about just a special occasion and taking the easy route and letting someone do it for you. <laughs> it's so pretty though. I had to share that with you guys. I think their desserts are incredible. It's awesome. So again, that is kind of everything I needed to get for that in mind for that event. But then over here, we have some of the stuff to get us through the rest of the week. So I will definitely share that with you. Had to get my berries and they were a better price this Time. I've been telling you the last few weeks they have not been the best price so I've been sticking to the frozen route but they weren't so bad this time so I got myself my blueberries love them with oatmeal it's delicious but with that said I've been getting the raspberries instead and I've been loving those too so <laughs> now I got both and then we got some blackberries here for Nate he loves those I got one thing of distilled water here in like the, what is it, a gallon? Yeah, one gallon here. I use this for like our Keurig machine. And then I got two avocados. I do have some left. I think I have three full ones left, uh, but just to have a couple more, I pretty much have either oatmeal or avocado toast every single day. It's just my thing. <laughs> I did get one bag of frozen edamame. Great go-to. I love it. And then I did need to stock up on the Better Than Boyan seasoned vegetable uh, base. This is vegan and this is wonderful, my friends. With the cooler, you know, season now here, I know that I will make a lot of soups and chilies and that kind of stuff. And this goes so far, so far with the flavor. I love it and I'm completely out of it. I got some bananas here. I do still have a little bit left, but I'm going to let them ripen up a little bit more and then freeze them because I am almost out of frozen bananas. I have been totally on a kick again of doing like a uh, protein shake. And so I'm almost out. So I got some more to replace those. I did get one bag of the uh, frozen strawberries again for smoothies in mind. Another thing on sale right now at Whole Foods is all of their pizzas, vegan or not. All of them are 50% off right now. I didn't need, you know, a whole lot of them, but I have actually had this one before and it's boring as it kind of looks. It was wonderful. 
<laughs> so I went with it again because I knew I wouldn't be disappointed. But uh, yeah, the American Flatbread Vegan Harvest, very, very good. But again, they're all on sale for 50% off. And then I got these again, my friends. I shared these on, I believe, my last vegan empties, and I love them. They're basically Cheez-Its in a plant-based form. They're so, so good. I highly recommend them. And then I got two more of the bean and rice burritos. I've shared these many times now, and I love them. Uh, they're just quick, easy meals, you know? I got some of the uh, green onions here. I love that for salads, you guys know. And then more carrots. It's my go-to snack of choice. Got some spring mix too to make some salads this week. We got everything we need. And again, I feel like I really didn't get all that much, you know, for ourselves for the whole entire week, but this just gives us an opportunity to get through what we have left, right? <laughs> and then I got the unsweetened soy milk here. I just got one of them. I've been using still the Joy Almond Base. I've shared with you guys a couple times before. I love it. And you can make your own almond milk super easy. I will link it below if you are interested, but it's so, so good. But just to change it up and have the variety, I like to do the soy milk or oat milk typically. But that was everything, my friends. I will put the total here for you guys. I'm so excited to share this with you. And if you are interested, this is some of the items that I'm also going to be incorporating. I will tell you, I feel like many people know this, but hey, that's why we here. <laughs> you never know, right? So I made this earlier today. It's still slightly warm, but I think I put it in the fridge now. But I did four cups of this uh, basmati rice in the instant pot with four cups of water six minutes high pressure and then let it naturally release for like 15 minutes and you got perfect rice now i'm going to today is actually saturday and um, i'm going to be using this tomorrow with my our friends and i feel like rice that's pre-made if you're going to end up making like a fried rice or a stir fry it's so much better than fresh rice. I know that sounds kind of crazy. You wouldn't think so, right? But that is one of those exceptions where if you can make this in advance and let it sit for a little while, it tastes so much better. It smells really good. And there's nothing to it. I didn't season it up or anything right now, but it smells really good. <laughs> so I got my rice to uh, put in the fridge for us all. I got all my spices here. I'm thinking this will be a really good addition for that chicken specifically. What do you think? I'm thinking. And we'll see, right? I love this, by the way. As much as I am not a mushroom person, I love this. It has great flavor. I think my thing is, is not so much what flavor you get from mushroom. It's the actual mushroom. I don't like the texture. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, so I might incorporate that though too because I think it'll go really well. I got some dates here. We got the soyaki from Trader Joe's too. I might just take that easy route. Uh, here's some vegan mayo from Thrive Market. Uh, again, to use as the base of the sauce. I have my jams here. My goodness, you know I love. Also from Thrive, love this. My favorite. And I'll mix it with a little bit of the vegan cream cheese. So good. They'll never know. <laughs> I have some of this hazelnut spread. It's so good. That's like Nutella on a whole other level. I got the strawberry one too. We got some apple cinnamon bourbon jams. I mean, we got the whole thing. I got all my crazy go nuts here. Again, that's why I didn't need too many um you know, trail mixes and that kind of thing. So we got all these. Got some of the best chocolate in the world. I'm not kidding. The endangered species. It's so good. <laughs> and these are actually the garlic non crackers from Trader Joe's. They're really, really good too. Got some other nut butters. Got these crispy bananas from Trader Joe's. They're really good. So we're going to make this all come together. Again, I will put it all in here for you now if I can get that on this video. And if not, again, it will be on the vlog. I thank you guys so, so much for watching. We love you guys and we will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.
that you are.